Back titration. About 0 0.3 grams of an unknown compound, which is a monobasic organic acid, was weighed out and dissolved in 50 centimetre cubed of 0 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide solution. So notice that first of all this word about. It means it's not exactly 0 0.3 grams. So we don't really know what mass is being weighed out. Okay. We do know, however, how much sodium hydroxide solution it was dissolved in. And we just do know, therefore, that it was neutralised by the sodium hydroxide solution. We have to assume that the sodium hydroxide solution is in excess, and I'm sure we'll find out later on. 10 cm3 of ethanol was added and some indicator, and then titrated with 0 0.1 molar sulfamic acid until the titration was complete. OK, so the sulfamic acid is then being used to neutralise the excess sodium hydroxide. And the average titer of sulfamic acid is 30.5 cm3. So we're asked to determine the amount of sodium hydroxide solution required to neutralise the unknown compound. OK, now with all back titrations we work backwards. We ask us why it's called a back titration. We're analysing what's left over. So the excess sodium hydroxide in this case, will be equal to the initial minus the reacted sodium hydroxide. OK, so rearranging this, this means that our reacted sodium hydroxide, reacted sodium hydroxide, is equal to the initial sodium hydroxide minus the excess sodium hydroxide. Well, we have the initial sodium hydroxide from this value here. The initial, let's highlight it in blue. So. This is the initial sodium hydroxide, what we start with. So all we have to do is to find out the excess sodium hydroxide to get the reacted sodium hydroxide. All right, well, we're given information about the sulfamic acid that was used in the titration. Sulfamic acid has got the formula um, NH2HSO3. It's like sulfuric acid where an NH2 group is replace the OH of the sulfuric acid and it reacts as a one to one in a one to one way with sodium hydroxide. So we have the same as so the moles basically moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to mole is equal to moles of sulfamic acid. Let's keep the spelling consistent, sulfic, sulfamic acid. And the moles of sulfamic acid well we're given the molarity of the sulfamic acid and we're given the volume of the sulfamic acid. So it's MV molarity times volume which is equal to 0 0.1 times 0 0.0305 we change the centimetres cubed into litres. And if we multiply anything by 0 0.1, we just move the decimal place one place to the left. So that comes to 0 0.00305 moles. So now we have the moles of excess sodium hydroxide. So let's look at the initial. Initial moles of sodium hydroxide. Again, this is M molarity times volume. In this case, from the blue up here, 50 centimetre cubed 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 0 0.05 equals 0 0.005 moles. So the reacted sodium hydroxide with the unknown is equal to the initial 0 0.005. Subtract the excess 0 0.00305 and that equals, let's bring our calculator in for this 
point zero zero five minus point zero zero three zero five and that comes to zero zero one nine five. Moles. So that's part of the question. Determine the amount of sodium hydroxide required to neutralise the unknown compound. We also asked to calculate the number of grams of sodium hydroxide. Well, we just get this by mass. Mass equals moles times relative mass. Relative mass is 40 for sodium hydroxide. So we can bring our calculator in and say multiply that by 40. This gives us the actual mass. Not particularly useful value, 0 0.078 grams. Now the final part of the question. Obtain the relative molecular mass of the compound from the average titration. Well, we can't obtain an exact value because we're, we're told it was about 0 0.3, but we'll have to use 0 0.3 as the actual mass. And so the relative mass, we use the same equations we have here. The relative mass, mR, equals the mass over the moles. And the mass we take as 0 0.3, and the moles were given as. 0 0.00195 bring our calculator in 0 0.3 divided by 0 0.00195 and that comes to 153.8 which is a reasonable value for a monobasic organic acid. OK, so summarising, for back titration, we must find out what's left over. We get what's left over by the titration of, this is the, the sulfamic acid value. This gives us the excess sodium hydroxide. The blue gives us the initial sodium hydroxide. We take away the excess sodium hydroxide from the initial sodium hydroxide to get the reacted sodium hydroxide. We're told it's a monobasic acid, so the reacted sodium hydroxide has the same number of moles as the monobasic acid. And we then get the relative mass by dividing the actual mass used by the number of moles of the monobasic acid.